Welcome, Ahmad Thomas. And you decided to jump in at this moment. Um, <laughs> not an easy thing to do, not an easy job to have. Tell me about that decision. What uh, what got you to uh, move from what you were doing uh, into this uh, into this role? It's the opportunity, really, that I think encapsulates it to build on all the great uh, the great foundation and what we've done in the past. And also, I think, on some of the top priority issues around infrastructure, which is transportation and housing, around climate change, around racial justice. It's incredibly exciting to me, and I'm fired up to be here. Putting equity first. What can you do? What can we do as a network of civic leaders to really uniquely move the needle here on these issues? To me, it's about having a very laser focus on what can be measured in terms of these positions in leadership, these boards, and the dollars that our companies can use in the most impactful manner to impact these underserved communities. If you look at the uh, AB 979 legislation here in California that the governor just signed into law, the first of its kind that mandates diversity, right. underrepresented minorities on corporate boards. The Silicon Valley Leadership Group was the only uh, major business association in the state to endorse that bill. Is it a perfect bill? No. Uh, do we want to see improvements made in terms of implementation in the timeline where we can to be constructive about how it moves forward? Of course. But right. bottom we stood on the side of progress. We're the only ones to do so. And I hope that that gives maybe a window into the thought process here of our executives, of our member companies, who I ultimately reflect, in being pretty out front in trying to drive change. Tell me a little bit more about, you know, kind of like equity is that growth model and why it's important for corporate America, not just a moral thing, not just a nice to do, but really a must do if we're going to be successful. But the bottom line is that the numbers show when you have executive teams that are more diverse, that are more innovative, they are more, um, the, the output is, is higher, more productive and efficient, and ultimately they drive higher revenue. There's a moral, I think, sentiment without question and the task that i have is to try and reflect that will of our member companies to do something and do something that really matters not just write a letter but to really have decisions that are made from their ceos down from their boards down that are in line with the moral pledges but are also accretive to their survival and accretive to their bottom line tell me a little bit about how your kind of lived experience will influence uh, you uh, in this particular role. Right. <laughs> I look around, there, there are not a lot of black executives that I see here in Silicon Valley. I, I think the same goes when you look at, uh, you know, people of color across the spectrum. Uh, and for women of color, it's especially acute, the issues that we face here. Uh, my background, my mother's an immigrant from the Caribbean, a West Indian from Trinidad and Tobago. My father is from uh, the rural South, Alabama, he grew up in the segregated South. I, I would hope that there's um, a, a real genuine part of me when we talk about values, some of that small, small town values, some of the values that just that I've been raised as I share a little bit about my family history, that always recognizes maybe how deep these disparities are. Or folks with, with my background, I, I think it takes maybe a, a real exceptional set of of life experiences where you connect the dots. You don't just fall into a role like this, right? Uh, I probably staffed a thousand plus meetings when I worked for Senator Feinstein. I, I've seen her lead up close, right? I know a little bit about what it takes to be a successful executive or maybe what it takes in, in presenting to executive boards. I had 15 billion worth of deals in the uh, public sector and the, some of those deals were impact deals that I led as an investment banker. And I hope it's this cross-functional expertise that I can bring to the role. I just think you're the right person in the right place at the right time. I'm so thrilled uh, that you're in this role. And I look forward to continuing the conversation, the dialogue about the innovative funding models we'll bring to Silicon Valley and the region and the state and, and really make an impact not only here, but across the country.